Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Speaking to Adil Artar and Neil Sandilands about Sweet Two. Now, on Netflix. <laughs> gentlemen, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> A deal. There's so much going on in Sweet Tooth. Doctor Singh, however, when you meet him right away, there's a lot going on. He's very complex. Did you notice how complex he was when you read the script for this? Yeah, I think I just noticed how he was just a, this sort of guy who was living in ordinary suburbs, had an ordinary sort of job, and was married. Um, and I think inside the ordinariness of people's lives, I think there's a complexity anyway. So yeah, I think he was complex. I knew there was a complexity to him just because he was living in sort of these extraordinary times. Absolutely. And Neil, simple question for you. What was it like playing the bad guy, the antagonist in this project? <laughs> I'm studying your every move, PD Beats. I'm going to try and give you the answer like this. Oh, it was awesome. I loved every minute of it. Chiggy, chiggy, chiggy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for, for both of you, a deal. I mean, starting with you, I mean, there's a lot happening. What do you hope the audience gets out of watching Sweet Tooth? Because there is a lot happening, but what do you hope they get out of it, diving into it yeah, deeply? Yeah, yeah. I just, I hope people sort of get the idea that um, all the simple things in, in life that they thought that weren't of value are really valuable. You know, the idea of the inherent optimism that people, some people might have, and it might seem a bit hokey or like um, your connections with people, you know, uh, just the sort of simple things that you would overlook. I hope they sort of look at those things again and see that as being something very special. And Neil, what was it like working on this? I'm talking about the the production shoot, shooting aspect of things. What was that like kind of working on the, the show? Like, What was that like for you? It was magnificent, really. Honestly, from the get-go, uh, when I heard that I was going to be involved, getting there was an adventure. Being on the island of New Zealand, meeting up with you, <laughs> magnificent. The New Zealanders are really magnificent people. Uh, it's such a held production to be a part of. And it happened at a really good time in my life. I can, it, it, you know, it, it, it made my story uh read very well for sure and a deal you know people are going to watch it there's a lot of storylines this is jeff lemire's graphic novel coming to life is there a storyline that you enjoyed the most out of it kind of when you wa- went back and watched it there's a lot of storylines a lot of c- character relationships was there's one that you enjoyed over others or yeah we were i mean i just it, we got asked a similar question before and i think the i really responded to the animal army i thought that, that i was just like I just love the sort of disparate band of like ne'er do wells all coming together. Mm-hmm. And it was like, it felt very much like a Peter Pan sort of story about just these young kids overthrowing the adults, you know? And yeah, it was, it was excellent. I like that. I'd like to see more of that. Neil, what about you? Any storylines, character relationships you and you that stand out for you? I'm going to sound so biased or like I'm, <laughs> kissing Heine when I say this, but deal your your character. Um, Don't believe him. Don't mech. believe him. He said it loads yeah. of times before. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. You've heard on. that. You've been sitting for <laughs> two days hearing me say that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, first time. I think as a challenge from an acting perspective, man, uh, it's, uh, and the way that you pull it off, and sort of. Being that representative, there's there's something about you and the honesty that you you bring to it, which I think is very relatable. You know, okay. it's it's tapping into that. It's a, it's a and very not, particular thing that you do in there. And, and I, not to I blow smoke, that, think, and not to be a smoke blower, but there's a there's all lots and lots of moments I remember from there. But this one moment where we sort of didn't say anything to each other, but um, he picked up on something that I was doing. And it's that scene where he kind of lifts up his his glasses a little bit. Do you remember that scene where he sort of lifts oh, it and then flicks it down? And I think I, I remember enjoying that scene so much because that, that could have been days and days of conversation. 
but it ended up in him being very responsive to Singh's fear in the moment and then doing a little flick of the thing, which I, for me brought the scene scene to life as well. So Absolutely. I know it sounds bad when, when you say something nice, I say something nice, but I do. I, that's, yeah. There's all these things that sort of- We rehearsed this. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Deal, Neil, thank you both for your time. And uh, Sweet Tooth is available now streaming on Netflix. Thanks, Petey Pete. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you both very, very much. Appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.